backside bacon, uh, bacon fat butter, um, a duck egg. Nice. And I just stood there and had this just goo falling down me, I was just shaking my head. I literally had no <laughs> words. And I told him there and then that was a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Nice. I think that's a really good sign when you have a sandwich and you've, you've really got to mop up your like forearms. Yeah, yeah, you want to be like licking your arms. <laughs> yeah, um, we've got a business plan for a sandwich shop called Wrist Gravy. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you really know that you're... Serious? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on the cards. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing, yeah. And actually the old country name for hawthorn leaves is bread and cheese, because they're famous for going really well in a cheese sandwich. Hugh oh, yeah. George with a basket of <laughs> bread and cheese. Let's okay, do what? this. <laughs> yeah, so what cheese have you got there, George? I've got a, I'm doing I'm double cheesing. It's weird, they kind of they taste like garden. Birch smoked <clears throat> cheddar. Birch and then, smoked cheddar. And right? then just a nice creamy crumbly cheddar. Apple skin. Yeah. That's that, what it is. Yeah, it's definitely got that. What was, what was the idea behind this again? That they, people used to do this on their way to working um, on the farms and things like that? Yeah, so like workers in the fields would take bread and cheese as a packed lunch and on their way out to the fields they'd grab handfuls of hawthorn leaves and shove them into a sandwich. But we're lucky enough to not have to do a day's work, we're just having a sandwich. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to taste good actually. I do you get that apple, that texture of skin. Yeah. Which I think will go really nicely. It's nice the idea that you're having, you're one, opening up your taste buds to flavours that I don't think the average person really is aware of. Nowadays. It just grows, Nowadays, yeah. It grows naturally, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you're automatically thinking of pairings as well. Like, you know, this goat works really well with cheese. Yeah, it is. It's like being in a, an idea factory. Every time you That's meet so a new plant, you're making those connections and making connections with the past as well. Like thinking of all those farmers who ate this before us. <laughs> there we go. Really? Oh, yeah. I like the little leaves poking yeah, out of the, the crumb. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on a little bit, George. Do you want a fresh one so it looks like you haven't started eating <laughs> <Yeah>. already? <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell everyone. Sorry, <laughs> man. I literally I just like, done it, made it. Got it half my <laughs> Right, let's do this. Again, let's go. Bread and cheese. 